Don't go uh, battlefield. Don't go battlefield. Don't go battlefield. Don't go battlefield. <laughs> For the love of God. All right. You got. Well, it is I, I, I feel, I, Yeah, it is triplets. So at the same time, this benefits both these characters. I feel like Cody's just about to walk out of this setup. If he I sees am. another battlefield, it's like a change of pace instead of Smash Bros. I start off in battlefield. Am pissed. We're so back on battlefield. <laughs> so much Rosalina play. It's great. So here we go. Choco against the Buzz. Have to see if the Buzz can play his game on this stage. We know what he wants to do. Aha! There he goes. It's a house with no doors. So you try to jab uh, Luma, but Luma going behind him, gonna punishing punish Choco himself. Oh my god. That's a lot of damage. You see the patience coming from Choco as well, using the Zare instead to throw out a hitbox. You see how he's trying to fish for those back airs as well. We see the obvious patience that always comes out of the buzz. He can't get in. I mean, DeBuzz is just sitting under that platform and just chilling. Now, DeBuzz has had a Nairo problem in the past and has had some real struggles with this character, but it seems like Choco is just kind of at a loss as of right now as to how to get in. See, there's a Zare. He manages to hit DeBuzz, but Luma there to cover Rosalina immediately. Ooh, nice drift back, avoiding the up smash. Yeah, but even when DeBuzz is in these bad situations, it seems like Choco is just picking all the wrong options to be able to, like, assault him. Uh, DeBuzz is just weathering the storm of Choco's advantages. But this is what Zero Suit Samus loves. We, we're talking about Ooh! a character that loves rage! We like a character with rage oh, where they yes. can turn any tables in their favor. Apparently he did the same thing to Void, beat him with a rage comeback, but DeBuzz just wiping it clean, saying, no, 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 no. Back yeah. to one stock. We definitely have an even game here, and what an explosive last oh, 10 no. seconds, and he actually was going to try to go for it again. Awesome use of that up B from DeBuzz, just resetting, not getting caught off stage. Love that usage there. You can see him dancing around. DeBuzz once more using that under the platform with the Luma. Oh my Excellent gosh, play this here. up air pressure that we're seeing, and this is what you're talking about, Kony, and why Battlefield is so good for Rosalina. The amount of pressure that the bus is able to put out there to prevent his opponents from landing safely. Yeah, it can be incredibly hard. We'll have to see if Choco can pull another rabbit out of his hat. Or maybe he'll just box him out. It seems like he's doing much better in the matchup now. We'll have to wonder if the buzz is okay in terms of his mental state after kind of that shaky start. Ooh, the flip kick. Almost landing. See him dancing around here. There's the up air on that. Another up, up throw, throw, up air, yep. The amount of pressure he gets to put on his opponents. Air Choco Ooh. does go all the way off stage trying to snipe that back air. Does and not percent. end up recovering above Luma. Wants to avoid getting hit by Luma at this point. And oh my goodness, taking care of Luma from already across the stage. Does get hit by that up smash though. You know, these both these so characters even. in general just love Rage. And so we saw Choco able to get that spike but can he do it again, or will it be the boost kick? You see him go really high. He didn't want to pull the trigger on the boost kick. There's the forward tilt reverse. The buzz making his way back onto the stage, but Choco just stuffing Ooh, him. Oh my goodness, almost catching that air dodge with the forward smash. Choco does get the grab, oh. and the air dodge. He, he waited for him. the air dodge, and he manages to get the back air. He really gave it to him on that. I am I wonder what Choco could have done if he didn't get the air dodge, because like, I don't think up air would have killed. He probably would have had to reset neutral. I mean, he would, it would have essentially probably let the buzz get back, but Zero Suit Samus' backer is so good that she probably yeah. would have been able to drift back towards the stage with another backer. That's what I was wondering, is if he could do like a reverse back air. I just, the, the air dodge, I don't know if it was a 50-50. I think the buzz just kind of felt maybe more pressure than he should have. But again, maybe he was expecting the Nairo, just the immediate reverse back air. And Choco, he's like, nah, I'm going to wait. Yep. The patience display from Choco, we've been seeing that actually um, the last game particularly. That's why he was lingering back and he avoided a few grabs from DeBuzz, but DeBuzz still being a very patient player himself. We know that DeBuzz special. Waiting it out and actually closing it in on Choco, getting the up smash instead of actually getting the grab. We are in final destination, so um, there are no platforms for you to mix up your landing. Yes. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how Power DeBuzz shields. takes this stage. And again, he keeps going for up smashes as optimal punish. I guess it does the most damage and puts Zero Suit in a pretty bad spot. It does stale, though, at a certain point. So right. it is your kill option that you could have to your advantage. But, you know, Rosalina does have up air and down air. 
especially sure. with Rage. Oh, double Luma up here. Unfortunately for DeBuzz, not enough to kill Choco. As you see DeBuzz kind of scouting out the roll, trying to force Choco into a defensive option. Choco didn't give it to him. He does take care of Luma, though. Was trying to get that back air, but ends up trying to unintentionally mix up Choco. You know DeBuzz is thinking in his head that that last game, just that first stock, that flip kick, so unfortunate for him. You know he thinks that he can make it work here. Have to see if he can. Oh, he just separates Luma from Rosalina, Ooh. but it's not going to be enough. He ends up trying to kick his way out of that situation, though. Let's get the back air on Luma. That's why you see DeBuzz actually stay very center stage so that way he prevents him from uh, actually Ooh. getting back aired on Luma, but instead actually catches the landing with the up smash. Ouch. Choco gonna try to find his way back on the second stock. Ooh, taking 25 damage there. Oh my and goodness, now, and all these more up smashes. He's just constantly catching Choco's recovery. His landing in general is just struggling. May have to opt to go for the ledge for invincibility instead. Yeah, there's just nowhere to go. The buzz is just under you at all times. It's kind of like if you ever fight one of the CPUs, like if you're ever above them, they will always up smash. The buzz is like that, but he's like level 15. Beautiful up B, that boost kick coming out of Choco. You see him chasing the buzz down, but he cannot land this kill. And guys, remember, it's two out of three. Yep. This potentially could be the last game if Choco actually decides to pull a miracle and uh, turn this game around. Hey, or sorry, actually, if the buzz, the buzz having the lead. If Choco loses this, there is another game after yep. this. Yeah, but oh, he does get the air dodge though, yeah. and you know when you air dodge and you get punished for it, and you try to fish it out from your opponent, that's kind of a retaliation of his own. Fishing yeah. for the air dodge, getting the up air, and closing out game two. Yeah, and I'm sure the buzz is feeling great about that because, like you were saying before, I mean, Zero Suit with Rage is so incredibly scary and if he didn't close that out Choco always had the opportunity or the potential to be able to make the comeback. Yeah some people very scared of boost kick especially um, when Zero Suit Samus has rage some people are just like yeah just SDI already but understand boost kick actually has an SDI modifier of zero on every hit except for the very first hit yep. so sometimes you just gotta take it unless you're able to preemptively think that they are gonna go for it and you guys can time it right. Yeah if you can't get out early you're not getting out at all as we start oh wow that opening gambit from Choco just running in with the grab immediately. So bold. At least on Smashville, he does have the ability to have the platform to his kit so that way he can actually mix up the landing, not get hit by all these up smashes that we saw from the very last game on Final Destination. I think that was a miss input that up smash. Unless he wanted to catch him above him, maybe just a little bit delayed on that. Pretty even between these guys so far. Ooh, the, the whip! Oh, that was really scary the because Luma was literally right in front of him at the same time. I didn't know that move was still in this game. Excellent up throw. Nothing really happening though. He's sending out that Luma, calls it back, says, nah, nothing happening there. Is he Choco escaping pressure with that flip kick? A little bit of back and forth between these two. Excellent reverse back air there. Choco ready, ready to let it rip. Double up air, not quite enough though. Insane momentum coming from Choco actually. Continuously juggles the buzz, but oh my goodness, he really just did that. He yeah. really flip kicked into the up air. Yeah, very How unfortunate, unfortunate, but he's gonna be able to get it anyway. Not enough DI could save you from that. How many, times, being so light. how many times have we seen this tonight? A game three, one stock apiece coming down to the wire. These guys are playing their hearts out, trying to make it into top eight. This will be their last set of the of, of right now if they could just do it. If they could just take this final stock. Oh, he aired all just right above Rosalina. Such a scary situation. He's forced uh. to hold shield in that instance. He can't really jump above him because then that's another up air that's coming for him. More damage put on Choco. Let's get, managed to get the back air, and Luma is out of there. The Nair setup going on. Here's the boost kick coming out. Not going to be it yet. Not enough rage on Choco's part. No, but it is terrifying to be hit by all that. I mean, that strength, the Nair into the forward air, into the double up air, so scary. If Choco gets another one of those, it is curtains for DeBuzz. He is out of the tournament. Ooh. You can hear the crowd kind of losing it. Both these guys just so explosive. They might be able to pull something out of their back pocket. The crowd is just watching with rapt anticipation and Choco has the buzz in a terrible spot. 
We're literally seeing both these players go toe-to-toe -to -toe with one another, with both having so much high kill potential. It's such a scary situation. Oh my you see gosh. that back air missing, but he still managed oh, to get the, whip, the jab. The whip! You see him dancing around. He's got to find a way in. Choco not giving him anything. He gets rid of the Luma immediately. Can the buzz. Managed to bring this back, though. Choco is out for blood at this point. You see how he's trying to fish for the back airs? The Buzz can't do it without Luma, though. The Buzz really wants an up smash. Oh, oh my god! The trade! Not in the Buzz's favor! And Choco takes it over to Buzz! Another insane player under Choco's belt here at EVO 2018. Who is that jumping in the crowd? I don't know, but absolutely unreal from Choco. You could tell he had the Buzz. Just that was a checkmate situation. All of his resources dwindling. You have no Luma. Your shield is dying. What can you do? You're stuck there, and Choco punches his.